setting up wireless for live events, avoiding interference and dropouts is everything. So today we're tackling a key question. How do I optimize antenna placement to maximize coverage and minimize dropouts? Let's break it down. Now, let's talk about the second part of the question, antenna placement. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. Not because they don't know better, but because honestly, we get busy. In most productions, there's no dedicated wireless coordinator. It's usually the monitor engineer or the monitor tech who's also patching the stage, checking RF levels, and doing 10 other things at once. So naturally, they want to keep things simple, get the antennas up quickly, run the least amount of cable, and move on to the next project. And to be fair, with how good today's gear is, this is usually okay. The systems are robust. They compensate for a lot of our setup shortcomings. But sooner or later, those shortcomings, they will catch up to you especially in complex or in high stakes shows. That's why I always come back to these three words anytime I talk about antenna placement. Line of sight. Whether you're dealing with wireless microphones or IAMs, line of sight is king. If the antenna can't see the pack or the microphone, you're rolling the dice. Sometimes that means running longer cables or hanging extra antennas. It might take a little more time doing load in and load out, but it pays off when the show starts. Here's a real, real, real world example. Combining all your IEM transmitters into a single antenna might sound clean and efficient. Until you're trying to fit 16 transmitters into just eight megahertz of usable bandwidth and your coordination software is screaming at you the math doesn't work but if you can split your antennas up into zones and put up two antennas with you reduce your intermod and you open up way more usable spectrum it also gives you flexibility if your artist suddenly jumps off the stage and runs into the crowd like you're not scrambling to rotate antennas or praying your signal holes. You've planned for the coverage. You gave yourself a lot of room to play with. And now you're comfortable. So yeah, it's more work up front. It's more cabling up front. It's more antennas. It might be a bit of a headache. But having that peace of mind during the show is everything. You have less stress. You have fewer dropouts. You have more peace of mind. So just remember, if you can see the antenna through the set pieces, through the risers, the LED walls, chances are you'll be in a good spot because those three words, line of sight. Thanks for tuning in to this Q&A session brought to you by Visionaire Wireless. I am your host and wireless coordinator, Austin W. If you found this helpful, check out more behind the scenes tech tips at www.thetourbuslife.com and subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash at tourbuslife. Stay connected, stay interference free, and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.